Welcome back to Arkansas Bigfoot. Uh, we are so very grateful to be able to be here with you today. Yes, we are. And many of you know we had an extremely severe storm system that came through here late last week. And we were fortunate. Most of it bypassed us. But there were so many families, so many lives and property east of us that weren't so lucky. You know, there's not really any words that can give comfort to those families in situations like this. But in your quiet time, if you'll take a moment to reflect and remember, that would be a wonderful thing to do. Yes. A couple days ago, we had drizzling rain and pouring down rain, and I tried to come out here to check on everything, and didn't get very far with it due to the water and not having my rubber boots on. But I caught some pretty interesting things and I'll put all that together for you, hopefully for the Christmas video. Had a little bit of it there at the intro of this one. And today we had to hike around the high side of the woods because the creek ditches and all of that are still full of water. We came back through the grove and we are at the edge of what we call the nursery area. All right, here at the beginning of this, you'll see that there's a X on that tree there. And it looks like quite a bit of stuff that I can see from where we're standing. Now we're traveling a little light in the bucket today, but we've got quite a bit of stuff for Christmas to bring out here for the big guys. We just didn't want to wait much longer and neglect them this week, so we're going to try to find a place back here that's high and dry to leave a little bit of stuff for them. I want to show you this area real quick before we get on with it. I thought that was interesting. Now that, we've got the circle there. And like I've already shown you, there's that small X on the tree here. As we call this the nursery area. And I think a lot of what is back here is where the young ones practice. Mm -hmm. And they're making their glyphs and structures and signs and symbols and arches and bends and breaks, all of that kind of stuff. We're always careful <clears throat> to make sure to ask permission before we come back into this area, but felt like a green light today, so. We're right here at this big pine tree. That was the first thing that caught my eye after the X, and you can see it looks like it's got leaners built up around it. That one there obviously is a limb break that came down, but this other stuff here looks like it's been placed. You can see a little foot trail that runs right out that way. This cedar tree. Nature did not do that to that. try to find a good location to drop a little bit of treats off today and hope that the rain holds out. It's supposed to rain a little bit later this afternoon or this evening. You can see it's trying to blow back in again. The breeze is picking up. And normally, if that's the case, They'll get on the upside of the breeze so Check that we that don't smell them as easily. Yeah. Not, not quite an asterisk, but it is. Well, I guess it is. It's a long sin. One of the things that's probably the most beneficial for them back here in this area, it's like a carpet or a thick 
mattress cover of all this pine straw and you can move around very quiet. Of course that doesn't count when my clumsy foot steps on a limb and snaps it, but <laughs> We've slipped back here a couple times before from the other direction, back over by the mound, and I don't remember if we showed that in one of your videos, Rachel, or not, but that limb yes. in the tree there. And it seemed like the subject of that day was all about balance, interestingly. Well, that's that fascinating. Looks like old footprints down in that mud, it's covered with the pine needles now. Whatever made that was sizable. Whomever. Seems like we'll find, like here, look. I started to say, we'll find a lot of small branches in the area where the babies are, what we call babies. In this case, they're uh, four-ish the youngest of these that we're aware of. They're always oh, full of surprises. <laughs> when you've got a forest full of Lincoln logs to play with, what right. else are you going to do? Would have been a party time for us when we were little. But that is unusual right there. And this one, part of what strikes me about this, this had been sitting somewhere near uh, where the water will stand because it's got all this moss growing on it. So it definitely didn't come from this tree. And there are several low places where water will stand when we get a lot of it. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on this. Let me pull my glasses down where I can see real quick. but. Way off in the distance, it looks like our notorious cup collector has been added again. I can just barely see it without my glasses, no less. Can't tell in the camera if that's a peanut butter jar or a plastic like a drink bottle or what it is. We'll have to get up there and check it out. But all of this in this area is perfect habitat for hideouts. It's got a lot of little humps and ridges in the terrain, brush piles and things like that. They can hide behind anything back in here. Something's whistling back here straight in front of you. Didn't quite sound bird-like. It's another thing I noticed the young ones are practicing um, sound. Well, they weren't practicing the other afternoon. They were no. full on chatter, chatter. Don't think that. <laughs> I don't think that was the tiny ones. It's probably fussing because I didn't have the bucket with me. And that would not surprise me. And with all the weather and being behind, once in a while we'll notice they get more active, but it isn't really aggressive or anything. About like every other kid, they think that you're bringing the treats to them. Well, I'm going to follow your lead wherever you oh think to sit this stuff out at. We'll take it to wherever. Oh, let's see. Let's come up this way. Let's 
someone had asked you an interesting question yesterday or today you were telling me about what they call us or what the name that they use for us when they're communicating. They were asking what names they use. Mm -hmm. Now in EVPs, I've, we clearly have gotten them calling you Ken. Of course, that's a single syllable. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, and for me, only once have I heard them say what sounded like ratio. Ratio. Sounds more like. But for the most part, they emphasize the R A, the ray, and it sound, I. Sounds more like raw or ra. Yeah, they. They really grab onto that first syllable, but you know, I've noticed that they're very similar in the way that they give their own names. They try to make it concise, strong, clear, and some of them have very long names, but they are great respecters of persons, and I believe that they try to use our names as we know them especially if they're communicating. Um, now, several times we've heard them imitate you know, voices like, I'll hear, I think it's you calling, yes. and you're in the house nowhere out where you would be calling me. Uh, you know. Yeah, and they are very skilled. But the way that Anku express that with their vocal cords, they have Huh, look at this. Oh. That's interesting. Well right there looks to me like one of them has been laying, laying. down mm -hmm. right there. And if I were to ask, can you tell me who whose spot this is, please? Can you walk up next to it, kind of for a size reference? I just think there was a footprint right there that just kind of walked over. Young, junior, no, took no. When we're back um, in this area here, we kind of go slow. We try not to run roughshod over their nursery, I guess. Yeah. I'm getting the feedback that this may be um, Martomes, which would be one of Ancus. Um, he's a little older than Junior. Reasonably quiet, but once in a while we have heard him. He would be in proximity of, say, 16, you know, what we would coin as 16, 17. Yeah, all that back around those brush piles, there's probably more of the same thing if we look mm -hmm. back there. It's a great spot back here, though. All right, so let's not dilly-dally around too much. We'll find a place to put these treats out for them and leave them to okay, it. Okay, how about... Hmm, show me guys. Somebody said a little further. Well, I can still see whatever that is laying over there, the wrapper or bottle or bag or something. So I'm gonna walk that direction and see what it's got okay. me curious. I think it's mama that I'm hearing. I heard that'll be fine. <laughs> I love mama. Maya. Maya is her name. I've gotten in the habit of calling her mama. I don't know that she minds. She has a lot of people calling her mama.
I think I know what it is. I'm looking. These are reading glasses. They're good for up close. When you brought all those little gifts out oh. for the so that for the women, for the girls. Pillow? Is that that little pillow that was part of that? It sure is. Okay. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. And that area looks well used. I don't know if it's laying, at least sitting. Not going to disturb it. Okay, where can we leave these for you? Straight ahead, she said. Well, that's, yeah, that's what I, my eye just caught it. I see a perfect spot up yeah, there. Yeah, she said see straight that ahead. Yes. Structure looking thing. Yes, that's exactly where she just pointed. As much as she can point at this to my mind's eye, that's where she pointed. Oh, well, I'm just glad that we're tuned in together. You think it, I think it, I think it, you think it. Sometimes I feel like, like right now, I feel like she's just kind of walking behind and between. So maybe we're getting the same thing at the same moment, but. I think that um, a number of people might get a little confused on the essence of mind speak but it really isn't and I'm going to make a statement <laughs> coming from me this may not be fair but I'm going to say that it isn't that magical once you open up that part of your mind it's very natural um, so there it is that's where she wants it okay to the right, okay. All right, well, give us a second and let us put this stuff out. We'll be right back. All right, so we kept this pretty straightforward. All their usual favorites today. Got their sausages and sardines, apples, peanut butter, bananas, popcorn. Those bags have graham crackers and peanuts and a little bit of nut mix in it. Got them some different eggs. There's quail eggs, chicken eggs, the colored Aracana eggs in there. Some more of the crackers and cookies and peanuts. Got their moon pies, pecan pies, apples, and more sardines. So we're going to leave these guys to it and get back up to the house and get to work on our Christmas stuff. You guys be sure to check back in next week. We'll have the stuff all raring to go for these guys out here, hopefully, as long as the rain and the weather cooperate. We'll have a few Christmas treats. Yep, got some really special Christmas treats to bring out here for them. All right, guys, come and get it. <laughs> there you go. It was quick, good old. You know, right. I noticed that on that last day video too, and we're gonna see if, about enlarging the screen behind the equipment. There was something clearly moving and watching what we were doing. So a lot of times I don't think they're too far. Well, all that back in there, the farther you go, the thicker it gets. I mean, it's just the perfect area. Super thick back in here for all of this. Okay, Mom, you're going to have to divvy it out here. This was the area, and she's built this up a little bit, so. All right, guys, appreciate you stopping by. Make sure to be here next week, and we'll catch you farther down the trail. Thanks.